Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is the full month of August collective tarot reading session for you Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Sagittarius friends out there. Sag, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen and if you would like to further support my channel, Sagittarius, I invite you to please um, follow me as well on my blog, sunshine-tv.com. We're offering a subscription um, plan over there. It contains the extended reading, the daily um, collective reading and so forth. So if you're interested to um, connect with me further outside of YouTube, check it out in the website, sunshine-tv.com, okay? So this is for you. So this is a general collective reading for the month of August. Let's see what's coming towards you in love and general situationship, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you. This is for Sagittarius. We will be looking at the past, the present, and the immediate future. Depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading, okay? This is for Sagittarius, please. This is for the full month of August 2021. What can I get for Sagittarius, please? All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So starting from... Starting in the past, you've got here the Four of Wands in reverse, the Emperor card, the Five of Swords. Okay. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, you know, fire sign. And then you've got the Emperor card, you could be dealing with an Aries specifically, Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like in the past Four of Wands, you've got a lot going on um, in your house, stability. It could also be regarding a property that you own. For some of you guys, you're quite worried about your property abroad or a property that you live. But it's property, stability, and something at work, okay? Um... I really feel like I really feel like there's some sort of neg neglect. I I feel like you have neglected or you weren't able to take care of the property. It's it's your ownership, you know. It could be I don't know. I feel like it's it's you own this property and somehow you have not been able to you you have not been able to Take care of the property or the transaction. And maybe you need to pay, uh, you know, a tax obligation towards this property. But it's about a house, a property, an investment, something that you owe, something that you own. And there's some sort of neglection and six of swords. And then you have to go and see and visit the property. So there's something in here in the past that somehow... You would have to revisit in August month for you to fix it. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's clarify it further. Six of swords in upright position. Yeah. Ace of pentacles. And then this card wanted to come out. So eight of cups. Yeah. You would return. Okay. So for some of you, if you don't want to lose the control, the ownership of a property, something that you... It's 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 you who is the owner of the property and I feel like August month it's telling you to pay attention with this property. You need to fix it, you need to you need to pay for I don't know tax, but you're obliged to look at it in urgency, the property that you own. It's a big money, so if you don't look after the property, you will lose it and you will lose the money. So, you know, um yeah, that's a red flag, okay? So that's the first reading. And then you've got here the Emperor card. I feel like this Emperor, it could be your father, but it's older than you. Okay. They will have a very, the Emperor card, the Five of Swords. I feel like this Emperor could be your father, but it's a person who's expertise when it comes to property ownership. But they could give an expert advice. And Five of Swords, I feel like their expert advice will save the day. Um, like you're in the, you're, you're, you're very, you're, you're panicking, 
you're panicking about a property that you own, something that you own, and it's big, you know, it's big money that you invest towards this property, this person will assist you, this subject matter expert will assist you to fix the issue, how to pay it, they would even advise you to, I don't know, you can process it, um, you don't have to go there, you can process it online, but there is an agent, it could be an external person, it could be a person external of your family, but there is a subject matter expert, an agent that you can consult and they give you an expert advice. And it will really, really help you a lot in terms of, you know, processing some stuff about this property that you own. Or it could be a lawyer or maybe you're going to buy a property. You've been looking to buy a property in the past and in August month, there's something that you would wanting to buy to purchase and it's advising you to consult um an ex expert uh you know five of swords um an external agent like it would save you money because if you do it wrongly you know um you might lose the deal so it's more of you you need to you need to hire a lawyer you know things you know things like property law um you need really an expert matter, subject matter expert to deal with that. And, you know, there is one. There is one that's really, really smart. I don't think he charged a lot. It could be a he, it could be, it could be a he or it could be a she, but very smart. And the strategy that he would present to get it back, to fix it, to buy it, his rule is so, it could be for some way flexible payment, but yeah find this you know don't try to solve it on your own look for a subject matter expert because i feel like you're panicking you know you've got your eight of cups in reverse the six of swords you're back and forth find an expert uh find a subject matter expert okay because i see you researching looking for an answer maybe asking your friends around you there is an agent that could really assist you with that okay then in the current energy, in the present energy, you've got the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Cups. Um, Four of Pentacles, holding back. Okay, I feel like holding back. Who is this? I don't think this is you. Eight of Pentacles. Mm. There's something around work, okay? I feel like this is the current energy. Um, in... I feel like there is something around work that you're not aware of. Um, someone is watching you at work, investigating you, um, looking at what you do. Let's see. But someone is watching you. Someone is... Yeah, look at that. Oh, Ace of Swords promotion. Okay. So for some of you guys, you've got a Queen of Wands, a Ten of Cups. So at present, you know, from past to present, I feel like you're really working hard. You're working hard. You're very focused on your craft, your career, your business. Someone is watching you. I feel like for some of you, there's someone at work in your business or someone you know, maybe um, you're doing a small business at home or, but someone is watching you. Someone is watching you, how you work, how you finish the work. Um, you could be painting, drawing, but someone somehow is watching you. And I feel like you're annoyed or you do not like the way this person is being nosy about you finish the work, about how you do the job. They've got a lot of question or they simply look at you, how you do it, especially if you're painting or craft or um, like artistic. Um, this because Ten of Cups, you're not happy that this person has been watching you, being nosy with you. You feel like you're being, like, examining. Um, this person is interested to work with you, partnership with you, or promotion. They could be leaving the company and they would like you to replace them. So you have a feeling of, why am I being watched? You know, why am I being watched? Or why is this person nosy? Trust me, they've got good news. They've got promotion. They've got something that you would really like. They haven't told you, okay? For some of you, this is a new love, okay? There's someone in the business. For some of you, you frequently visit a specific place and you come across and, you know, you come across this person, you chat with them. And you'll be very surprised that this person is going to approach you 
um, I'm getting love energy and um, business opportunity promotion in here. Um, it is... It is an energy. It, it it is a scenario. What I'm seeing from the intuitive is that you don't like the way you you don't like the way you you're being you're being watched, and it, if you're being watched or someone is being nosy about what you're doing, and you because because in here you're too busy. You know, eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles is I'm busy working hard, and this person is lurking around. You know, seeing you, checking you, chatting with you. You could be somewhere out there sitting randomly. But you're so busy and this person is watching you, approaching you. They've got promotion to offer, business partnership or new love, okay? Let's see with the, with the love energy. Okay, this card wanted to come out. Oh, look at that, two of cups. I told you guys. <laughs> um, it could be randomly you're sitting in a cafe, a place, what, a place where you visit regularly. It could be at work. You know, it could be at work um, in a... In, in the kitchen, in a cafe, near at work, or someone related at work, partnership, somewhere within the vicinity of work that you regularly see. Most especially now that the pandemic is quite like, you know, I, I think we could roam around a little bit. So this person offers either partnership or interested with, or it could be both. But it's a feeling of you not really expecting a partnership or a love energy it's being approached or being asked by someone by somebody and you don't you don't even welcome them because ten of cups i'm busy don't bother me and you would see in their smile and the way they speak to you that they're interested and it would change you the minute your intuition tells you sagittarius that oh this person seems to be interested with me then that's it that is the cue from the intuitive that they are interested with you with either a promotion, a job, or personal romantic relationship. They've got this smile and a twinkle in their eye, okay? Or for some of you, yeah, you would see a smile, a twinkle in their eye, they ask questions, the follow-up with me email. Or for some of you, they would just sit and chat, okay? So this is available in August month. This is nice. Okay, let's look at the immediate future predictive outcome and advice. Let's see. Um, you've got the moon card in reverse. You're going to discover something around the end of August, moving to September, October. And I think it's about a result. If you're worried about the medical result, you could be pregnant, Sagittarius. Or for some of you, someone could be pregnant, Six of Cups. You know, for some of you, I'm getting like love romantic. You are supposed to break up separated and you found out that you're break, you're pregnant. So you couldn't, you couldn't really break up. But for some of you, there's something about medical. There's something about, um, this is good. This is healthy. Empress card is about healthy. It's about fertile. It's about vibrancy. It's good. And um, like saved by the bell feeling, you know end of august going to end of august going to september october um there's some sort of a good news about something that makes you worried about health or about something mobility for some of you um something that you worry a lot for regarding mobility maybe about car maybe transfer transportation or for some of you health it's actually negative. It's actually okay. It will proceed. Six of Cups, you don't have to worry. You don't have to go anywhere. You know, Six of Cups, I feel like you will resume or you're not stuck, but you'll keep, you'll keep whatever it is that you have. Maybe, you know, for some of you guys, because of health scare, you think you won't be able to drive or you won't be able to move or you can't go further out of like it is something in the news in the result that's preventing you to step forward you know you're feeling stuck you know, six of cups in reverse you're feeling stuck because of this news or you're waiting for this this result the result is um the result is really good so it will take you out of your worry and you could explore you know for some of you you couldn't you couldn't go out because maybe you're waiting for and a COVID result for some of you, you are in isolation, but it's actually, you'll be able to heal. 
um, the result is good. There's nothing to worry and you will be able to explore or go back to normal. Thank you, spirit. You'll be able to go back to normal. This thing has made, this thing has made you stuck. Maybe you don't have a car. You couldn't go out anywhere. And then, you know, August, September, October, you're going to get a car back and things to be resuming. Everything seems to be going back to normal. Okay. So that is me. That is your reading. I love your reading. Um, so I'm resonating on the second one. Actually, this one. I'm resonating on this. Yeah. Thank you, Sagittarius. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you. Check out the website, sunshine-tv.com. Check out our merchandise. Check out the subscription plan. We're offering daily collective reading in there, access to extended reading, specialty reading, and so on. I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.